I think my blueberry is burnt. Oh. <laughs> oh. I work with acrylic and watercolor, but today I'm going to work with pancakes. I'm kind of all over the place. I mean, I would just really describe myself as an artist. I'm a sculptor and a performer. Well, like, honestly, I've never done this before, and I don't even know how exactly I'm supposed to make an image. Though it looks really easy online, I'm, I'm not sure how easy it will be. Yeah, of course you want to do a good job, but like, make a pancake, have fun. These first things that I'm putting down are actually the negative space. This red is so fun. Wow, this is beautiful. I would love to put some green in this, so we're gonna put some trees. My ex-boyfriend was French, and we went to the Eiffel Tower, and he had to pee really bad, and there was nowhere to pee, so he... Pee. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Yeah! I think I'm gonna make a snail because I have fond memories of snails from childhood. I wanna do an octopus because they're cool and they're squiggly. This is gonna look exactly like a platypus. I wanna do these little suctions last because I think it'll show up the lightest. Pancake realism. It preceded the uh, expressionist the pancake movement by probably 15 years. I've never been in a restaurant that serves escargot and been like, oh, I would rather eat this than filet mignon. I'm gonna flip this platypus. This is my pancake octopus. I mean, that I've always wanted to eat snail eyeballs. I snailed it. This is relatively traditional art school fare, minus the griddle. We can always kind of just fix it up a little bit. Nose job. I don't know what to expect. Very stylish and some lipstick. I'm gonna put some blueberries. <laughs> Delicious. I think that this inspired me to try more food-related art. You got short stacks, you got Johnny cakes, you got pancakes, you got griddle grinders. We got to make art out of them.